Hi, myself Adya Saman and myself Aditya Suhag from class 9th A. Today we are going to explain the lesson Elven Game. Listen to the sound without hearing it from the second unit of the Sound of Music. This is an account by the Bore Kale, who has been a famous writer who travelled across the world while writing articles for Reader's Digest. She has even worked for CBC Television in London and Egypt. This is an account of a person who fought against a physical disability and made her life success story. So let's start. Rush her crowd, rustled for the position on the underground rail platform. A slight girl looking younger than her 17 years was nervous, yet excited, as she felt the vibration of approaching train. It was the first day at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London, and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a Scottish farm. But this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most. She was profoundly deaf. Evelyn Glennie's loss of he hearing has been gradual. Her mother remembers noticing somewhere something was wrong when the eight-year-old Evelyn was waiting to play the piano. They called her name and she didn't move. I suddenly realized she hasn't heard, says Isabel Glennie. For a quiet while, Evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers. But by the time she was 11, her marks and had deteriorated and her headmistress urged her parents to take her to a specialist. It was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage. They were advised that she would be fitted with hearing aids and sent to a school for the deaf. Everything suddenly looked black, says Evelyn. But Evelyn was not going to give up. She was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music. One day, she noticed a girl playing xylophone and decided that she wanted to play it too. Most of the teachers discouraged her, but Parkas and his strong folks spotted her potential. He began by tuning two large drums to different notes. Don't listen to ears, he would say. Try to sense it in some other way, says Elvin. Suddenly, I realized I could feel higher drum from the waist up and lower from the waist down. Forbes repeated the exercise and soon Elvin discovered that she could sense certain nodes in different parts of her body. Says Elvin, I had learned to open my mind and body to sound and vibration. The rest was sheer determination and hard work. She never looked back from that point onwards. She toured the United Kingdom with the youth orchestra and by the, by the time she was 16, she had decided to make music her life. She auditioned for the Royal Academy of Music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the Academy. She gradually moved from orchestral work to solo performances. At the end of her three-year course, she had captured most of the top awards. And for all this, Elvin won't accept any hint of heroic achievement. If you work hard and know where you are going, you will get there. And she got the right to the top. The world's most sought after multiple occurrence with a mastery of some thousand instruments and a hectic international schedule. It is intriguing to watch Evelyn function so effortlessly without hearing. In the two-hour discussion with the author of this story, she never missed a word. Men with bushy beard give me trouble, she laughed. It is not just watching the lips, it's the whole face, especially the eyes. She speaks flawlessly with a Scottish lilt. My speech is clear because I could hear till I was 11, she says. But that doesn't explain how she managed to learn French and master basic Japanese. As for music, she explains, it pours into every part of her body. It tingles in the skin, my cheekbones and even my head. When she plays the xylophone, she can sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingertips. By leaning against the drum, she can feel the resonance flowing into her body. On a wooden platform, she removes her shoes so that the vibration passes through her bare feet and up her legs. Not surprisingly, Evelyn delights her audience. In 1991, she was presented with the Royal Philharmonic Society's prestigious Soloist of the Year Award, says Master Perkinist James Blades. God may have taken her hearing, but he has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels far more deeply than any one of us. That is why she expresses music so beautifully. Elvin confesses that she is something of workaholic. I have just got to work. 
often harder than classical musicians but the rewards are enormous apart from the re- regular concert elvin also gives free concerts presents and hospitals he also gives high priority to class for young musicians and richly of the bethel fund of for deaf children says he is a shining inspiration for deaf children they see that there is nowhere now nowhere that they cannot go Evelyn Glennie has already accomplished more than most people twice her age. She has brought percussion to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving. She has given inspiration to those who are handicapped people who look to her and say, if she can do it, I can. And not the least, she has given enormous pleasure to millions. Thank you.